Relationships today are more complex than ever. With endless communication apps, social media distractions, and shifting societal expectations, it can feel like we're navigating an entirely new landscape. Yet, despite all the changes, there are some hidden truths about modern relationships that no one seems to talk about. In this video, we're going to uncover seven hidden truths about modern relationships that will give you a deeper understanding of what's really going on beneath the surface. Whether you're currently in a relationship, thinking about entering one, or simply curious, these truths will reveal insights that can help you navigate your connections with wisdom and clarity. We'll also draw on Stoic philosophy, which offers timeless advice on how to handle relationships with balance and emotional strength. So, if you've ever wondered why relationships today seem more complicated, stay with us as we reveal the often unspoken truths that could change the way you approach love, friendships and connections. Let's dive in and explore what no one else is talking about. Truth. 1. People often expect perfection, but no one is perfect. One of the hidden truths about modern relationships is that people often enter them with unrealistic expectations of perfection. Whether it's the influence of romantic movies, social media, or societal pressure, many of us expect our partners to meet impossible standards. The truth is, no one is perfect and expecting perfection only sets you up for disappointment. In today's world, where we're constantly bombarded by curated images of flawless relationships online, it's easy to believe that others have it all figured out. You see the perfect couple on Instagram, always happy, always smiling, and you start to wonder why your relationship doesn't look like that. But what's hidden behind those photos is often far from perfect. Everyone has struggles, disagreements and challenges. Stoic philosophy teaches us to accept the reality of human nature. Epictetus once said, Remember, you are an actor in a drama of such kind as the author pleases to make it. This reminds us that life and relationships are messy, full of imperfections. Embracing this truth can lead to more compassion for your partner and yourself. After all, the pursuit of perfection only leads to frustration, while accepting each other's flaws allows growth and deeper connection. Instead of seeking perfection in a relationship, focus on growth, understanding and mutual respect. Those are the foundations of a healthy, lasting partnership. The real beauty of a relationship lies in navigating the imperfections together, not in trying to avoid them. Truth. 2. Emotional baggage can hold you back. Another hidden truth about modern relationships is that emotional baggage from past experiences can weigh you down, and most people don't realize how much it affects their current relationships. Whether it's unresolved issues from a previous relationship, childhood experiences, or past trauma, carrying emotional baggage can prevent you from truly connecting with someone in the present. In today's fast-paced world, we often jump from one relationship to another without taking the time to reflect and heal. We bury our feelings and move forward, thinking time will fix everything. But the truth is, Unresolved emotional baggage doesn't just disappear. It shows up in your actions, your reactions, and how you approach new relationships. Maybe you find yourself overly suspicious, expecting the worst from a new partner. Or maybe you have a hard time trusting anyone, fearing that they'll hurt you as someone else did before. Stoicism teaches us the importance of inner peace and emotional clarity. As Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The key here is to recognize that while you can't change your past, you can control how much power it has over your present. For example, let's say you were cheated on in a past relationship. 
If you never dealt with the emotional pain of that betrayal, you might enter your next relationship constantly worried about being cheated on again. This mistrust, born from past experiences, can create tension and insecurity, even if your new partner has given you no reason to doubt them. Carrying unresolved issues into a new relationship can sabotage something that could have been healthy and fulfilling. To truly move forward, it's important to face your emotional baggage head on. This might mean taking time for self-reflection, talking to a therapist, or simply acknowledging that your past doesn't have to define your future. Healing takes time, but by addressing your emotional baggage, you open the door to deeper, more authentic connections. Truth. 3. Overcommunication can create distance. Here's a surprising truth about modern relationships. Sometimes overcommunication can actually create distance. In a world where we're constantly connected through texts, calls, and social media, it's easy to believe that more communication is always better. But the reality is, being available 24-7 can sometimes leave little room for the healthy space that relationships need to grow. In today's world, it's not uncommon to be in constant contact with your partner throughout the day. You text when you wake up, you send messages during lunch, and you talk before bed. While this can make you feel close at first, over time, it can lead to emotional burnout. When there's no room for individual growth or moments of reflection, conversations can start feeling repetitive, and both partners may feel mentally drained without knowing why. Let's think about it. When was the last time you had a meaningful conversation with someone after talking to them all day? Constant small talk and check-ins can create a sense of obligation rather than genuine connection. Stoic philosophy reminds us that time spent in solitude is crucial for clarity and self-reflection. Seneca said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This can apply to relationships too. Sometimes we waste the opportunity to cultivate deeper connection by filling every moment with communication rather than allowing natural space for conversations to evolve. For example, imagine a couple texting each other throughout the day about every minor detail, what they ate, where they went, what they're thinking. By the time they meet up in person, they've already exhausted the topics that could lead to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Without moments of healthy separation, the relationship can start to feel more like a routine obligation rather than an exciting, evolving partnership. It's important to remember that quality of communication is far more important than quantity. Taking breaks to focus on your own thoughts, experiences and reflections can help you bring more to the relationship. Giving each other space not only keeps the relationship fresh, but also allows for personal growth, which is essential for a healthy and lasting connection. Truth 4. Social media can create unrealistic expectations. One of the biggest hidden truths about modern relationships is that social media often creates unrealistic expectations. We live in a time where people carefully curate what they show online, posting only the highlights of their relationships. This can make it easy to compare your own relationship to these seemingly perfect couples, leading to feelings of dissatisfaction or inadequacy. On Instagram, for example, you might see couples traveling the world, celebrating milestones, or showering each other with grand romantic gestures. But what you don't see are the arguments, the moments of doubt, or the everyday struggles that every relationship goes through. Social media gives us a filtered version of reality, and it's easy to forget that what's posted online often doesn't reflect the full picture. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what's real and within our control, rather than being swayed by external appearances. Epictetus said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. 
This applies to relationships as well. True wealth in a relationship comes from emotional depth, trust, and connection, not from extravagant gestures or superficial displays of affection. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your feed and see a friend's anniversary post. It's full of pictures from a luxury vacation with captions about how perfect their relationship is. You start wondering why your relationship doesn't look like that, why you don't have grand trips or picture-perfect moments to share. But the truth is, comparing your behind-the-scenes reality to someone else's highlights is unfair and misleading. Social media often puts pressure on people to perform for an audience rather than focus on the genuine connection they have with their partner. The more you compare, the more likely you are to feel like your relationship is lacking, even if it's filled with love and support. To counter this, it's important to step back from social media and focus on the real, unfiltered moments in your relationship. Instead of measuring your happiness against someone else's posts, reflect on what truly matters. The quiet moments of understanding, the support you give each other, and the growth you experience together. These are the things that build a lasting, meaningful partnership, not the number of likes on a photo. Truth 5. Compatibility is more important than chemistry. One of the most overlooked truths about modern relationships is that compatibility often matters more than chemistry. It's easy to get swept up in the excitement of attraction and emotional intensity, but long-lasting relationships thrive on shared values, goals, and communication, not just sparks of chemistry. In today's fast-paced dating culture, where swiping right or left happens in an instant, people often mistake chemistry for true connection. You might meet someone and feel an instant attraction, the conversation flows, you have fun, and the butterflies are there. But as time goes on, you start to notice that your values, lifestyles, or long-term goals don't align. That initial excitement starts to fade, and what's left is the realization that chemistry alone isn't enough to sustain a relationship. Stoic philosophy teaches us to value what is lasting and meaningful over what is fleeting. Seneca once said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This is especially true when we get caught up in the idea of chemistry, imagining that it's the key to a perfect relationship. But real relationships are built on compatibility, shared interests, mutual respect, and common life goals. Imagine you're dating someone who excites you and makes your heart race, but every time you talk about the future, you realize you're not on the same page. Maybe you want to travel and live in different places while they prefer stability and staying close to family, or perhaps they value spontaneity while you thrive on routine. No matter how much chemistry you share, if your lifestyles and values don't align, the relationship will face significant challenges in the long run. Compatibility ensures that you and your partner can grow together, face challenges as a team, and build a life that satisfies both of you. While chemistry may fuel the initial attraction, compatibility is what helps the relationship endure. Instead of chasing fleeting moments of excitement, focus on finding someone who complements your values and life goals. Truth. Six, fear of being alone keeps people in unhealthy relationships. Another hidden truth about modern relationships is that many people stay in unhealthy relationships out of fear of being alone. In a world that constantly pushes the idea that being in a relationship equals happiness, many of us feel pressured to stay in partnerships that are no longer fulfilling. The fear of loneliness can be a powerful force, leading us to compromise our emotional well-being just to avoid being single. With social media constantly showcasing happy couples, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that everyone else has it figured out. We see friends getting married, celebrating anniversaries, or starting families, and suddenly, the thought of being alone feels unbearable. This fear often causes people to settle for less, 
choosing to stay in relationships that drain them emotionally simply because the alternative, being alone, seems scarier. Stoicism teaches us to value our independence and emotional stability. As Epictetus reminds us, he who is not content with what he has will not be content with what he would like to have. This means that if we can't find contentment within ourselves, no relationship, no matter how seemingly perfect, will make us truly happy. Relying on a relationship to fill the void of loneliness often leads to disappointment and frustration. Think about this. Have you ever stayed in a relationship longer than you should have because the thought of starting over seemed too daunting? Maybe you convinced yourself that things would get better even when the red flags were undeniable. In today's world, with dating apps and social pressure to always be coupled up, we often feel like there's something wrong with being single. But the truth is, being single can be a time of growth, self-discovery and empowerment. Instead of fearing solitude, embrace it as an opportunity to build a deeper relationship with yourself. When you let go of the fear of being alone, you free yourself to walk away from unhealthy relationships and create space for connections that truly serve your happiness. Being alone doesn't mean being lonely. It can mean building a stronger foundation for the relationships that matter most. Truth. 7. True happiness comes from inner peace, not external validation. The final hidden truth about modern relationships is that true happiness doesn't come from the relationship itself or from external validation. It comes from within. In a world where we often seek approval from others, many of us place our happiness in the hands of a partner, expecting them to make us feel whole. But relying on someone else for your sense of worth is a dangerous game, one that can lead to disappointment and emotional imbalance. In modern relationships, it's common for people to expect their partner to complete them, to constantly affirm their worth and provide happiness. Movies, social media, and even well-meaning friends often reinforce this idea that being in a relationship will make everything better. But Stoicism teaches us that our happiness should never depend on external factors, including our relationships. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This means that inner peace and contentment come from how you think about yourself and your life, not from how someone else makes you feel. In today's social media-driven world, there's an added pressure to show off perfect relationships, filled with grand gestures and constant public displays of affection. This search for external validation can distract us from what really matters – emotional stability, mutual respect, and personal growth within the relationship. If you're constantly seeking approval or relying on your partner to make you feel good about yourself, the relationship becomes more about fulfilling a need for validation than about genuine connection. Instead of chasing external validation, Focus on building inner peace and self-worth. When you are secure in yourself, your relationships become stronger because you're not placing the burden of your happiness on someone else. Your partner should complement your happiness, not be the sole source of it. True happiness comes from knowing who you are, being at peace with yourself, and having a solid sense of self-worth. When you cultivate inner peace, your relationships become healthier, more balanced, and far less dependent on validation from outside sources. Navigating modern relationships can be challenging, but by understanding these seven hidden truths and applying some of the wisdom from Stoicism, you'll be able to approach your connections with more clarity and strength. Remember, it's not about chasing perfection or seeking validation from others. Real growth comes from within and from the quality of the relationships you nurture. Now, I'm curious, did any of these truths resonate with you? Have you experienced some of these challenges in your own relationships? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your experiences in the comments below.
And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of the future content we've got coming. There are plenty more insights on Stoic philosophy and life lessons to help you grow and build stronger, healthier relationships. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and those connections that truly matter. See you in the next one.